everybody, and welcome to another week of Abandoned Ships. Um, I'm terribly sorry I didn't post last week. There's something wrong with my freaking technology again, so. Um, because there's been some issues with people uploading and whatnot. I'm going to actually do the TMI tag from last week. I'm going to go ahead and upload it today, so you guys get two videos from me today. But this week is Music Week on Mates Abandoned Ships, and... Uh, what a better thing to do than talk about my favorite kind of music and what I listen to. It's, it's actually crazy because my music that I listen to completely ranges from pop to pop punk, classical piano, some R&B, hardcore, post-hardcore, rock, and just, uh, just my, my music just, it goes. But I will not listen to country. Uh, I respect the artists for their hard work, but I just... Country is not for me. I will admit that I, I'm a music junkie. I listen to, like I said, a lot of stuff. Um, as I said, I, didn't li I don't listen to country. I mean, if it's playing, I'll listen to it. I'll tolerate it, but it, it won't be my choice. I listen to a lot of, uh, which is surprising, whenever I get in the mood, especially during the summer, I don't know why, but I will listen to a lot of 60s, 70s, and a lot of 80s rock and stuff. So. My, my music on my phone is it, just as ridiculous. It goes from like 70s to 60s and there's some 50s on there and then there's music from today and then it's just, it's crazy. I absolutely love music. Music is, is everything to me. So, uh, I just, there's just so many bands and so many artists and stuff that I love and it's just like, ugh, I have not enough time in the day to listen to all my favorite songs. My favorite time period for music, I, I, admittingly, was the, the older music, the 60s, 70s, and you know, most 50s and stuff. I don't know why. I think it's because it was more uh, original and there wasn't a lot of auto tune and a lot of it was real and it made sense. And nowadays, you got rappers rapping about uh, butts and uh, 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 I don't even know. I don't know. I just, I think I like that older music because it, it shapes a lot of music today. Kind of, I think. So, as everybody knows now, I am obsessed with bands now. Bands are my thing. I don't know, like I said, where I would be without music. And some of these bands, you know, made me, I don't want to say saved my life because they didn't literally save my life. The music inspired me to change my mind about the outlook on a lot of things. Pierce the Veil, Sleeping with Sirens, Memphis Mayfire, Issues. Paramore, and then there's this new band, well, they're not really new, but they're called Convictions, and they're from Ohio. I love their music, and they just did a cover of Take Me to Church, and it's freaking amazing. Like, I don't even know. I, I love this band, and one of their lyrics from one of their older songs, I actually want to get tattooed on my arm whenever I get brave enough to do it. They are a Christian band, so it's, it's definitely, you know, something that, it's, I can't think of the words, but I, I love the music. I don't care. I love the music. And Paramore is my favorite band of all freaking time. I don't care. Paramore was the first band I ever actually got into. A friend of mine got me into them back whenever I was in high school, and I did not know, you know, hey, I don't, think I, I don't know about this music, you know. I did listen to some stuff, but I wasn't into it as hardcore as I am now, and I wasn't much of a fangirl then. <laughs> I don't think the term came around until a little bit after that, you know, fangirling and stuff, but anyway. The Warp Tour this year. The lineup is completely amazing. I am excited to see a lot of newer artists and stuff perform, and I'm even more excited for the Warp YouTubers. I'm just, I cried whenever I found out who was going, so that's, that's that. But this year for Warp Tour, I have a few bands that I'm really into that are going, and I, I must say that some of the newer ones, I'm... I don't, you know, they're not my cup of tea, but I listen to them just so I could get the feel, you know, because I don't want to be a little loner in the corner while all the other people are, like, listening to the bands, and I'm like, yeah, I have no idea what's going on or who these people are, okay? No, I want to know who they are before I go, so. And I, I guess, I think it's pronounced Paris. The A is upside down, like a V, so I don't know. I actually started listening to them, and I'm just, I, I like it so much. I didn't think that I would like another band that has a female vocalist. I don't know why. I think it's because all my expectations are high because of Paramore. And there's a couple others that are just amazing that have female vocalists and I'm scared to listen to 
a lot of bands that have female vocalists anymore. I don't know why. It's just, uh, I, I'm afraid of being let down. Asking Alexandria, Family Force 5, Memphis Mayfire, Paris the Veil, which I screamed whenever I saw that they were going. As It Is, and Paris, As It Is, has Patty Walters, which he was a YouTuber from, uh, England or something? I don't even remember. I don't remember too much. Um, I wasn't too much into him until after I found out that he was coming to the States to work on an album and do a tour and stuff, so it was really exciting to see that you know, his dreams came true. Yay! And then Alive Like Me and Say We Can Fly, I got into that both of them last year, and let's just say I'm, I'm really excited to see them on Warp Tour, and I think Alive Like Me, did they go? I don't think they went last year. Alright guys, I am completely done rambling about music and Warp Tour and bands and about how much I fangirl over these people. Also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It would mean a lot to everybody that is on the channel. I'll put the link in the description down below and the, 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 down there uh, for my main channel. I haven't made a video in a while, but I actually plan on making a video here in a little while. So uh, I'm really excited to kind of jump back on the bandwagon. I took some time off and I feel so much better. All right, guys, leave a comment down below. Uh, uh, if you're going to Warp Tour, what bands are you looking forward to? Also, Sleeping With Sirens just announced an acoustic uh, that. Sleeping with Sirens just announced an acoustic, a small acoustic tour, and there's two dates in Pennsylvania that I'm so excited, and I, I literally added this to my bucket list for the summer, so. Alright guys, that's all the time I have for you guys today, and I hope you enjoyed this video, and you be on the lookout for my video on my channel, and then also be on the lookout for the video from last week. I will be posting it today, so, as always, bye mates!